Are you looking for a power efficient but high core count home server that importantly has 2.5 gig networking included? Well, I have a really awesome power efficient yet powerful mini PC that I want to share with you guys that quite possibly could fit the bill for your next home server. So stick around and let's see what we've got. Well, the mini PC that I want to share with you guys today is the B-Link EQ12 Pro. This little mini PC is quite awesome in the features and hardware that it contains. It sports the Intel N305 processor that has eight cores and eight threads. Now, this is a step up from the N100 that I shared with you guys in the B-Link S12 Mini Pro. Now, the eight cores and eight threads make quite a difference when you're running virtualization on a home server. In addition to the N305 processor, the EQ12 Pro sports DDR5 memory. Now, Intel ironically says that the N305 supports a maximum of 16 gigs of DDR5 memory. However, many in the forums and around the net have said they have successfully been able to install 32 gigs of DDR5 memory. And when I saw this, I ordered a 32 gig stick of DDR5 memory and had no issues with this unit recognizing the 32 gigs of DDR memory. Now, I had a commenter on Virtualization How To on the article that I had written about the EQ12, and he was able to actually install 48 gigs of DDR5 memory in his particular unit that had the N305 processor. Now, Intel does not support this officially, but it's something to note. When you're looking for a server that has the N305, potentially you can install 48 gigs of DDR5 memory. And again, I have successfully been able to install 32 gigs with mine and run that fine. And it'd be recognized both in the BIOS as well as uh, VMware vSphere. In addition to the DDR5 memory, the EQ12 Pro also has a single 2280 NVMe slot that you can install uh, your regular NVMe drives that you can order on Amazon or anywhere else. Now, that's one of the first things that I changed, swapping out the default 2280 NVMe drive, which does come with Windows 11 Pro installed. So I swapped that out for safekeeping and just simply installed a Samsung Evo 970 Pro that I had laying around on the desk. Keep that in mind, you only have a single slot of NVMe storage to work with in this unit. However, with NVMe sizes growing and coming down in cost, there are a lot of really great options that you can stick in there and run all kinds of uh, virtual machines, containers, whatever on that internal storage. Now, as I mentioned at the outset, this unit interestingly is outfitted with an Intel i226 network adapter controller. You've got dual two and a half gig network adapters in this unit, which is fantastic. Not only since you have dual two and a half gig network adapters, but them being Intel based, we can also load VMware ESXi without issue within the box drivers that uh, come right inside of VMware ESXi 8. So let me just give you guys a quick physical look around the unit. I uh, really like this unit, the EQ12 Pro. It's a very uh, small unit, and I really like how the unit is laid out from a port perspective. So uh, as you can see in the front of the unit, you've got the power button. We've got a reset CMOS uh, button that we can use. We've got two USB-A connections here in the front. Uh, but also, one thing I like is all of the I.O. and other connections to the unit are found in the back of the unit. A lot of mini PCs, as you guys will note, you've got connections in the back, you've got connections in the side, you've got connections in the front. Well, I like the fact that if I'm going to use this as a home server, I've got all of my I.O. in the back of the unit. So we've got the two network adapters, we've got a USB-C connection, USB-A connection, two HDMI ports, and then we've also got the power connection. Uh, also, the unit is plastic, so not a metal housing. 
However, it does feel very substantial, uh, well made. Everything is uh, very high quality with the unit, so I really like it. Also, this is the gray unit. Uh, most come in the uh, black, but I believe there are four colors to select from if you look on the B-Link website. So really nice uh, physical characteristics of this unit. I wanted to give you guys a look around in the vSphere client. I have onboarded this EQ12 Pro B-Link mini PC as an ESXi host in my vSphere environment. I have to say that I'm quite pleased with just how well this unit is performing. One thing to note, the TPM device in these uh, B-Link mini PCs and many across the board um, are going to present with a TPM error. And it has to do with the type of technology that these mini PCs use for the TPM device. Now, one thing to keep in mind, you can disable the TPM altogether in your mini PC, uh, such as this B-Link device, and this error will, of course, completely go away. If I expand the host, you can see that I have many Ubuntu servers. These are Ubuntu 2204 LTS servers that I just quickly cloned using a Terraform script that I have for the lab environment. So these are identical aside from the naming and of course IP address scheme. So I've got one through 20. And then also just to mix things up a bit, I also have a Windows Server 2022 domain controller that I quickly spun up as well. Don't have all of those powered on i'm going to go ahead and power on the last remaining two so i can give you guys an overview of some additional load that we can throw at this host so if i navigate back up to monitor and performance advanced we're going to see that this little cpu is actually doing quite well now we're going to see an uptick here uh, no doubt as this uh, continues to satisfy the booting of those uh, last few virtual machines but everything is just really responsive. I've not had any issues with um, interacting with any of the virtual machines with seeing sluggishness. And, and this is 21 virtual machines that I have up and running. If we look at the performance and this uptick, of course, is me powering on those three virtual machines. And this uh, i3N305 is from my experience with it so far, has been a very performant CPU, uh, especially for this platform. And I think this unit, 20 to 25 virtual machines, container hosts, you want to run some workloads, you want to experiment with Kubernetes. As you guys can see, you could easily spin up multiple Kubernetes clusters uh, with that being said. So all in all, from my perspective, this is a fantastic unit for the home lab. Well, guys, if you're looking for a power efficient home server that also sports a really high core count, as well as the ability to have quite dense memory configurations, the B-Link EQ12 Pro may just be the unit that you're looking for. The low TDP values along with this N305 processor and the amount of memory that we can unofficially uh, install in this unit make this, in my opinion, very attractive along with the fact that we have dual Intel two and a half gig network adapters that will allow us to run ESXi from VMware as well as uh, Proxmox, XCP, and G and other hypervisors to boot. Well, I'm Brandon Lee. Please do like the video, subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Please do keep on home labbing and I will see you guys in the next video.